we are just finding out that there, that uh, we might have some fans in Brazil, so we're talking about coming down in 2002, and hopefully, as long as people will come, we will be we there. We just found out that that when we go down there, we don't necessarily have to have a Brazilian wax. So since we don't have to do that, then we're going to be down there right away. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the Brazilian wax, wax, it's like when you get rid of all the hair in this area right here. And, right here. and down under and also. Down under, like the Australians. We'll be there soon. <laughs> It's really odd having success in other countries with uh, that speak different languages. We can't even believe that we we have any success at all in a country that speaks our language, which is our own country. But uh, <laughs> for it to happen in other places is just crazy. I think it's amazing, and I and I hope that um, the people listening to our band can understand what we're saying and uh, you know understand what we're all about and can relate to the songs and get something special out of them. The only Brazilian music I think that we get exposed to in the United States is probably Sepultura. And we've seen some, uh, well, we don't know that. We can't, we don't even, we're so stupid. That's like, <laughs> we, we don't know any music. <laughs> the only music we listen to is ourselves, and we hate it. <laughs> we need to be exposed to some Brazilian. Give us some culture, please. We have none in California. We're dying. Our country sucks. My girlfriend! I love Green Day. I think they're a great band, and they were definitely heroes of ours when we were growing up, and it was definitely a band that influenced not only Australian music, but also kind of blazed the trail for bands of our genre, so it's kind of an honor if we get compared with Green Day. Yeah. 